This space shuttle Discovery at 11,000 feet and closing on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The weather there is perfect. It's about 40 degrees and the winds are only about two to three miles an hour. So weather is not a factor this morning. They, uh, about an hour ago, uh, made their rocket firing over the Indian Ocean to ensure an on-time landing at Edwards Air Force Base. Let's listen in now as they uh, make their final approach to runway 22 at Edwards. 174 feet per second. Discovery under manual control of uh, Crew Commander Dick Richards now performing the pre-flare maneuver, taking some of the steep angle out of the uh, final approach. Landing gear down. Gear confirmed down and locked. Main gear on deck. And nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on Edwards runway 22. One of the reasons they wanted to come back on runway 22, the concrete runway instead of the lake bed, was to test out the carbon-carbon brakes, uh, ones that uh, this is the second test for those brakes. CNN's Dan Blackburn joins us now from Edwards uh, out in California. Dan, the, the crowd's not very large for this one. Uh, about 2,100, 2,200 people were told, uh, the, all that showed up for this landing. Well, Tom, they didn't do much to encourage a big turnout for this. In fact, I'd say more accurate to uh, describe the efforts of the Air Force and NASA on this as to discourage any crowd. So there wasn't much cheering or applauding except by the people who've probably seen a lot of these come in, and that's the uh, regular crew here at Edwards Air Force Base, and they were on hand to uh, cheer the uh, Discovery crew back down to Earth and watch what really was a... You always like to use the phrase picture perfect, but as the rising sun sort of bathed the entire area in its own special glow, this was definitely one of the prettier landings. And for those that uh, were not able to be here, they got, I know, a very good view on their sets at home of one of the better landings here at Edwards. All right, so Discovery has returned. They have rolled to a stop, one of the shorter missions, only four days. But in the first day, they accomplished their main objective, sending Ulysses on its way to the sun. I'm Tom Interior.